my name is Mutala The Voice. So today, I just want to have a tour of Bungoma town, of which is my home county, Bungoma, in Western Kenya, East Africa. So this is Bungoma, and uh, maybe I'll start with what I'm saying. I can see there is a mosque, so this is one of the mosques. So one of the popular things to see in Bungoma is actually Hetia Supermarket, one of the outstanding places. But there are two of them that I know, maybe if there is something else at the moment. So, Bungoma County actually, um, the governor of Bungoma County actually is the former uh, Senate Speaker. And also, uh, he was the first governor of Bungoma. Then, uh, when we had the previous election, it, uh, not the previous election, he won again. But there was someone who ousted him in the, that other previous election, which was uh, in 2017. And right now, he is the governor. So, he's quite a controversial governor. And um, he's the one who trended with the issues about wheelbarrows. He bought wheelbarrows at a very expensive price. So, let me tell you about uh, Bungoma County. Bungoma County, the main dominant uh, communities are the Bukusi community from the Luya tribe. Then you've got uh, the Sabaot and also partly Tesos and also the Tachonis. So those are the main uh, communities living in Bungoma, but it's not like they are only ones. It's a cosmopolitan region, of course, but I'm talking about people who are indigenous in this place, Bungoma County. So I'm just having a walk. I want us to go to, to the bus station or the other side of Bungoma town. Then we'll proceed on to where we shall be headed to. There's a lot of noise right now. I don't know if you can be able to see any right now, but the wind brings a lot of money right now. I think there's a generator, some place there. There is a generator. But uh, let's go this side so that I show you other parts of Bungoma County. So, let's go. So, we are almost there. In this street, actually, there is a lot of banks, like from this side to this side. There is EPT, there is Cooperative Bank. There is Bank of Africa right there, but we shall be crossing to that total. There is a total. I don't know if you can be able to see total petrol station. So <laughs> I think Bungoma have got almost the same problem that uh, we did uh, in uh, Rwanda, Kigali. As you can see, people are not very, 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 you know, cautious about you know wearing safety, uh, safety what do you say safety materials is it materials no just putting on the helmets good jacket or boots when they are driving i think or maybe not driving actually when they are you know riding the motorbikes they don't consider that most something of which is not good so this of this this are buses going to nairobi most of the time when you want buses going to nairobi there's someone calling me right now i don't know who is that been calling me for some time but uh, what can I do someone is calling me but uh, let me reach at a place which is a little bit uh, you know quiet and uh, I will call back so this is a bus station I want to cross this other side this is a bus station for Bungoma so it is just like um, an average town in Kenya. Actually, it's not that much big, Bungoma, but it's just an average, uh, an average town uh, in Kenya. So, I want to know, so far, how do you find it? How, which town can you be able to compare it uh, with Bungoma County? Because I know there is sometimes quite some similarities uh, in terms of towns like uh, not only not only in kenya even other countries i'm trying to remember i'm trying to remember um a town that looks like uh, bungoma but I, I can't find it but it is just like i've ever been somewhere that looks like bungoma is it kisi i'm not very sure i'm not very sure but uh it looks like a town somewhere tell me in the comment section if you're a kenyan or anywhere uh, in the world that you have seen a town that is that looks like this you can tell me in the comment section Which town does Bungoma County or Bungoma town look like? Tell me that in the comment section. I need to know that so 
we need to understand yo niade kopoa kofiti eh ah pana mimi natembea nikionyesha onyesha watu town tofauti tofauti Eh yeah, uko mzima lakini uko mzima jondi eh yeah, kazi inaendeleaje uh, kazi yenyewe ni ngumu eh yeah. ila tu ni kuangana tu ah yeah. sawa so, chapia nitembee kidogo ah <laughs> so he was actually very curious ah uh, you know it is known in western kenya like people are very curious people are very curious you know with stuff of media like people who consume media a lot come from western kenya and bungoma bungoma town is actually uh, in western kenya So people consume TV and radio a lot. They are from the western region. Mostly uh, I can say Bungoma County and also uh, Kakamega County. People consume a lot of radio uh, from these regions. So even uh, not only that, even the best best presenters, the best best uh, presenters in terms of radio mostly um, mostly come from these regions like the western kenya or say the luya community they are very good storytellers that's why they can make good presenters so um the senator for bungoma county you know uh was moses otangula who is right now the speaker of the national assembly uh so after he was given that position we had to go for a by election we have someone right now called some uh wakoli I need to confirm that. If you're from Bungoma, you can tell me in the comment section so that I don't miss on the names. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it about Bungoma. At least you know uh the speaker of the National Assembly was actually, you know, um was actually a senator here before he was given that position. So, I want to cross that other side. So this is just a random view of Ngoma County. So let me show you something. Let me show you something. So this road, uh, um, when you go with this road, you can go to Kakamega County, Mumias Kakamega County, and um, let me go like this so that I can be able to show on the other side also. So when you go with this road, you go up to a place called Kandui. Kandu you can interconnect either you go to Ebuye to Nairobi on your right or you go on your left you can go to Malaba which is the border between uh Kenya and Uganda actually it's not very far it's less than 50 kilometers so it's not very far actually it's some something that uh, you can take half an hour drive if you're driving it can take you a very short time so this bungoma i want us to go to that to the side as we explore bungoma town uh it's actually a very beautiful town with receptive people amazing 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 people that this bus if you want to go to Nairobi you can use that bus called green line then normally like most of those buses normally come uh go to you know the western kenya region so yeah at least you know when you come to bungoma you can't get lost so Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, man. They've got a dual carriage right now in Bungoma, but you can think it's just. <laughs> I think it's very. It's not. Don't look like a, a dual carriage actually on my side. Like, um, oh, oh, what do you say? Does it? Does this road look like a dual carriage on my side? Okay, literally, it is a dual carriage. But when you come and literally look at it, you don't feel like it is a dual carriage. Maybe people from Bungoma, I don't know, you tell me in the comment section because I'm from Bungoma County and I'm very confident with it. It doesn't look like a dual carriage. Let me know in the comment section. Let's continue moving. My name is Ntaw the Voice for those watching for the first time. I do travel videos and uh Bungoma is my home county in Kenya, Africa. So I decided to show you around so that at least you have a glimpse of it where I come from. So let's go. Still interesting. This is the other side of uh, Bungoma, but I'll cross to also to the other side so that you can also get to see um, you know the county government offices and so on and so on there is something interesting about Mongoma that I've realized actually I've realized uh, we still have um, uh, I mean bicycles border 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 is actually uh, those operate transport operators using bicycles so they move you from one place 
to another. So with a small fee, actually, they don't go far, far, far away. But you know, it's quite interesting because so far, like in most towns, people prefer um, motorcycles and not bicycles. But in Bungoma, we still have some of them. Let me show you. Uh, I don't know. Can you see it right there? Yeah, something like that. So let's go. I want to move to the other side. Also, you can get to see, you know, uh, Bungoma County, you know, government offices and so on. But uh, Bungoma is a small town, but not really a small town, but consider considerably smaller as compared to other towns. Others can say it's a big town, but to me, I see it's a small town, but a very beautiful town, a very amazing town with amazing people. That's something, some, something that uh, I can assure you with. So I think we shall use this path, cross to the other end, then we can proceed from there. Right, this is Bungoma. So this is a border border, I was telling you. I know you have seen something close to that. So let's go. So here we are, man. Another interesting thing about Bungoma town, like when it reaches six, around six or going to seven, businesses do close like this one. All of them are closed right now. Like people close so early. I don't know why because for me 6 p.m. is quite early or 7 p.m. is quite early or what do you think what do you think all these are businesses closed already <laughs> and they're in the town it is like the CBD of Bungoma I think we can up our game and we can make Bungoma town more active in the evening hours rather than closing early because Okay, I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge because I know there's so many dynamics that you know um, Make things like that happen. So I need to understand. Why do you think? Why do you think? Uh, Bungoma businesses, no businesses normally uh, close very early. I need to know on your side What do you think because on my side? I don't answer Maybe people don't live around here or maybe they just come to work here and go back to their villages or something like that. I'm not very sure. Let's go. It's already getting late. Getting late. This this NCBA, Faolo Bank, I can see KCB. So this street is actually very this is like the main street. Abana. <laughs> That someone who wanted that was asking, Am I going? So I was saying, Hapana, so that means no in Swahili. So, um, I told you, look at these businesses all closed, man, right now. So, this street is filled with banks like banks, circles, and so on. But the moment you finish, you know, look at this all of this, these are banks, all these are banks, are banks, National Bank, NCBA, Faulu Bank, Family Bank. KCB bank but the moment uh, you know uh, you know there are no more banks that means there are no more businesses so this other side man people have already closed their businesses man and it is just barely like going to right now I think 6 30 or going to 7 I need to confirm let me confirm I think 7 I think it is 6.46. Can you be able to see that? 6.46, not yet 7. But we have already closed. So, I really don't understand, but you know, Bungoma has one of the most hardworking people. I don't know why business has closed this early, but uh, I'll get comments here. I need the comments here about Bungoma County so that you get to know. All right, let's go. So, Tuk-tuks are also common uh, We're in Bungoma County. So this is the Bungoma County Nash, uh, County government offices So there it is. So that's the office of the governor. So when you go there, you're going to meet the governor I'm not really sure if you're going to meet him Because there is protocol. There's how you book, you know, and a lot of uh, um, what do you call them? Like processes, man. It's crazy. Just seeing salmon. I don't like it at all. So, we're going towards this side. So, it's actually today that uh, I'm also going back to Nairobi, Kenya, where I normally, I, I normally stay and I normally do my styles, my businesses and all that I do. 
So I booked a bus on this other end of which uh, later on uh, I think that uh, is it 8 p.m. It's when we'll be leaving Bungoma County. So this is Bungoma when you're displaced, man. So that's how brief Bungoma is. We, we have an airstrip in Bungoma, but um, it's not functional, like it's not working. Most of the time when you go to that airstrip, actually what you're going to find is like people practicing driving and also maybe practicing how to ride motorcycles or animals grazing. So I don't know what was the plan, uh, what's the government planning so far so that we have an active airstrip. Maybe someone who, is, who can be able to afford can be able to come home with the flights. But everything is a process. Everything is step by step. This is Huduma Center for, you know, Bungoma County. Right here next to Posta. All this is Posta, Postal Offices. <coughs> okay. Now, I'm going to the other side. I will cross the railway. Then from there, uh, I will wait for my bus. Then we leave for Nairobi. So let's go. So here we are next to the railway line and also Bungoma grounds is just right there. So this is the railway line going all the way. When you go like this, you'll be going to Malaba, which is a border between Kenya and um, Uganda. When you go like this, you'll be going up to Nairobi. So I'm going straight. So I'm next to Sharif Center. I can easily confuse it with Sarit Center in, uh, in, uh, in Nairobi, Kenya, Westlands. So it's Sharif's Center, a very big mall. I think it's the biggest mall in Bungoma, Sharif Center. If I'm wrong, you can help me in the comment section. You can maybe tell me, you know, it has been a while since I was home, man. So at Sharif Center is where you're going to find uh, also buses like Easy Coach. Uh, you should find them at, you know, Sharif Center. <laughs> uh, these guys are very interesting. They see you talking, but still hurting and asking you, like, are you going? Yeah. If you wanted to go, I'll just let you know. But uh, yeah, it's a normal thing. I understand different environments have got different people and different contexts and different approach uh, approaches to things. And uh, that's it. You have to appreciate. So this Sharif Center. So this is where I'll be using uh, my bus will be coming there. It's called Garden. I'll be using that Garden. Remember the other time I told you I didn't feel good, man. Like. Uh, Easy coach didn't, didn't give me the best uh, of their services, so today I decided to change the bus. You know, like uh, they were charging 1700 Kenyan shillings, uh, which converts to around uh, 17 dollars from Nairobi to Busia, also to Bungoma, same price. But the chairs were bad, the bus was old, the bus was not having lights, the chairs were not comfortable. And there was overbooking, overbooking such that, or double booking, such that you know there were like three cases, man, and it was rowdy at that time. I did that video when I was going to Kampala, Uganda. I go back and watch, but I did not show you um, everything because, man, I did not feel, man. Uh, that is the brand that you know Easy Coach wants to sell. So this is Easy Coach. So today, I preferred, uh, I preferred Guardian. Simply because uh, people have recommended it and said, oh, ah, it's a good bus. So I said, okay, let me try this this time round. So that's why I booked Guardian. So Guardian also, you know, it is cheaper. Like I paid 1400 which converts, let's say it's like $10. Now, when you do the right exchange right now to the Kenyan currency, it's like just $10. Because the exchange right now is at 137 if I'm not wrong. So you can imagine. So next to Marusha Sako, I'm headed this way briefly. Uh, just next to Sarit Center here in Bungoma County in Kenya, East Africa. A beautiful, beautiful county. And um, my worry is that uh, what I wonder, not worry actually, maybe people are going to be with their families, you know. Bungoma people are family people, man. Bungoma people are family people. I think that's one of the contributions why businesses close very early so yeah that's it that's it that's it man so i'm having a walk i think i've got close to one hour 
then my bus will be leaving for Nairobi to be ready so I'll just have to go back so um, another thing is that uh, it is cold here that's why you can hear my voice actually changing right now uh, I'm not very good with cold it's a cold season it has rained actually it rained a lot today here in Bungoma that's why you can hear my voice like changing that's the county assembly of Bungoma so there is a county assembly of Bungoma and when you, when you go to this other side where we were previously that was the office of the governor so I want to go back so that uh, I wait for my bus and then we proceed on to Nairobi Kenya the capital of Africa so let's go so here it is here in Bungoma the guardian angel so this I'll be waiting for for my bus to arrive uh, then we we'll proceed on man. it has been a pleasure man. so talking to you it has been amazing I really appreciate your support man. so if you're not subscribed please do so comment share widely also you can give me some suggestions so that we go and improve together man <sighs> it has been a tiresome day actually that's why you can see me like not that active today I, I I've, I've also realized that like you know I'm trying I'm trying I've not slept well for the past you know uh, three days that's why I need to go back to Nairobi and rest well so that when we commence vlogging again we commence our vlogging or travels again amazing amazing and back to back so here in Bungoma County just one hour waiting for my bus to arrive then we go to Nairobi. My name is Ultra The Voice. Have a good time.